Hi, my name is Slavin Marinov. I'm the founder of a company called Orbisius, which is behind many WordPress plugins. In this video, I'd like to walk you through a solution that I found to a problem. Um, a user called, a Reddit user called Willy asked the question how to access WordPress user data outside of WordPress. That inspired me to write a short blog post, which I added a link to it here in the comments. I wanted also to create a short video about that. My idea is to create a custom plugin that will respond to a given request variable. And here I picked the variable to be named this way. And also it is an associative array which allows me to stuff as many variables as I need. So in the beginning, I might need command. Let's say if I want to load it's all the users, I will need just that. But later, if I want to pull a specific user's data, I can pass an ID. And also having that kind of naming variable, naming convention, will ensure that there's no co conflicts with other plugins, because if I use ID, that's very popular parameter and can be used by a different plugin and which could get triggered if it's passed. And that's why I picked that name and the, this plugin needs to be installed like any other WordPress plugin in own directory. Let's see my cool plugin and the name be my cool plugin.php and it has to be activated and here are the checks that I'm performing. First, we check if the command parameter is passed. If not, then we exit. Actually, we don't exit, but we return. We don't process anything. But if there is a command, then and we recognize that command, we can do something about it. And later, we decide to exit. This is important to stop any other WordPress processing. For example, here, if you need to return JSON, then you can do that and it's good to exit. So there's no other content appended to the JSON. Here is the standard WordPress uh, header information and so on. Let me know if, if you have any questions and for more information, visit club.orbisius.com and have a wonderful day. Bye.